Hey guys, today at Rhinet we're actually going to be demonstrating some brand new polyester ink available from International Coatings and SilkscreenSupplies.com. So polyester is probably one of the more difficult things to screen print. The reason being is polyester fabrics don't receive ink quite as well as like a cotton fabric. You know, cotton fa fabric is more receptive. Plus, the way they're dyed is they're actually dye reactive. So basically, when you're curing a polyester shirt, it's kind of a reverse sublimation process. Polyester is great for sublimation because underneath 400 degrees of heat, it actually opens up the poly pores and receives dye into the actual fabric. Well, that's the way it's dyed. So when, if, if it's got a color into it, like this black 100% poly stretch black that we see right here with these football shorts, um, what will happen is underneath the heat, it releases those dyes back out. So if we print white, standard white ink on this, it's going to turn gray because it's going to release all that black pigment and dye back into that ink. So that's called dye migration essentially. And as a screen printer, fighting against dye migration is extremely hard. So typically it's been done by using a polyester underbase, like a, a blocker underbase, which is a very thick white ink that has a lot of pigment in it and it's got low bleed blockers in it. But the real thing about bleeding is it, it's really when it, the, the fabric and the heat of the dryer gets over 300 degrees, 320 degrees, which is the temperature that you have to cure standard plastisol ink at. If you keep the temperature a little bit lower and cure, let's say, at 285, 290, then that dye migration doesn't happen. Plus, if the ink actually has dye migration blockers in it, that obviously attributes to a more cleaner print that stays colorful and bright for longer. So the poly inks, the advantage to them is they cure at low temperatures, 285 degrees to 300 degrees. So below that 300 degree point, which is going to give you your optimal cure for not having that dye migration affect the color of your print. Plus, not only does it come in white, like most traditional poly white inks, but it comes in seven colors. So seven colors that include a black. So if you're you have a poly design that includes black ink, you couldn't want, you wouldn't want to print with standard black ink because it won't cure at 300 degrees. It needs to cure at 320 degrees, which would then ruin the rest of your inks. So seven colors, we have gold or athletic gold. We have lemon yellow right here. We have sky gray. We have scarlet red. We have green. And then we have our navy blue. So that's seven colors that it comes with and really good colors all around versatile your main core colors so then you have your white ink obviously which is a nice creamy poly white uh, and great for underbasing with this ink so we're going to show it direct print flat print flash print and we're going to show it as an underbase as well so let's go ahead and print with these we can actually use 110 to 305 mesh this ink is fairly creamy it's, not, it's fairly opaque too, so you can print it as an underbase or you can print it as an overprint, um, or you can try to print flash print without underbasing, and we'll try that on the black and see how it works. We're going to be using just a flash here. We're not going to run these through the conveyor dryer. We have a temp gun to ensure that we're not getting over that 300 degrees. So this ink will cure from top to bottom at 300 degrees, which is really nice. And we should be able to do our stretch test and everything. So I'm going to put a little bit of white ink in here. As you can see, this is nice and creamy, easy to work with. So this is the new poly white. And then we're going to be using a little bit harder squeegee. So this is a triple durometer squeegee today. And so we're going to do a fairly solid underbase, two passes on the underbase. Make sure the ink is clearing the screen properly. So there's our underbase. Ink cleared nicely. Once we're done flashing, we'll come and do our final coat. And there's a nice bright poly, print flash print, and then we'll go ahead and cure this, and this will cure at 300 degrees. We're going to temp it, so I'm going to release it from the pallet, I'll bring it to the edge of the pallet here, and then I'll run the flash dryer over it and temp it to make sure it reaches temp. Something else you can consider with po printing polyester is running the shirts through the dryer first kind of preheat them and get some of that pigment out. Okay, now we're at 300 degree, actually to 290, which we should be cured there. So bring it back around, do a stretch test, make sure everything's good. So this ink stretches very nicely. You can see there it's stretchability. And then also can ensure cure, but maintaining nice bright look on the actual polyester black. 
So polyester, 100% polyester, very hard to print with. Now let's do a couple other prints here to do some more testing. Um, it's always recommended to do a wash test. So wash test and a dryer test with this will tell both of the ink will bleed and it will actually, if it stays on the shirt. So before you really go into production with this ink, do some wash testing first. That's always recommended by ink manufacturers. Okay, now we're going to do a print, then a red, like a, so a white underbase, and then a scarlet red overprint. So we'll do two passes on the white underbase. Make sure screen's cleared nicely. There's after one hit, screen's clearing beautifully there. Now this sleeve palette's a little bit small for these pant legs, so that's why the print's stretching out a little bit. But we'll flash that, and we'll come put some red over it. So this is the scarlet red, nice opaque, you know, nice bright red. Fairly opaque, but really creamy. So that's why it allows it to go through the high mesh as well. We'll put just a little bit in the screen in there. We'll be doing the overprint on the white underbase. So here we go. So there's the red over the white underbase. Pops out very, very nicely. Looks really great. And that one, once again, will cure at 285 to 300 all the way through the entire ink film. So let's go ahead and cure that. Then we'll try to print flash print on the red directly on black. All right, that cured nicely. So there's the first two prints. Nice bright red on there. Great detail. Good stretchability. So now let's do the final print, which we'll see uh, the opacity of it. So we'll go uh, print flash print directly with the red. All right, first pass with the red. Do two pulls. Make sure the mesh is cleared. So there's the first pass directly on black with red. Definitely dollar. Okay, and then we'll do their second pass. Not bad. Not too bad. And then we'll cure that. Take a look at all of them. Okay, once again, we're looking for a cure temp between 285 and 300 degrees. And that hit 289, so we should be good. And let's take a look at all three prints. More close up. So here we have all three prints. So great. It's, it's soft. It's not super rough. Uh, you know, it is a little rough uh, because it is a plastisol ink, but it's, it's a lot softer than the traditional poly whites. It's much, much easier to print. Um, great over the white underbase. Um, actually really good on the direct to print and probably one of the only inks that we could use a colored ink and directly to print to polyester. So this would work really well if we were doing like a, a lighter color shirt, like a blue or something like that, because we probably wouldn't have to use an underbase in that sense. But so there's a print flash print with white, print uh, flash with white underbase, and then a red overprint, scarlet red, and then print flash print with the scarlet red, directly onto 100% stretch poly. But we got good stretchability here. We have a low cure point at 285 to 300 degrees. And still, even after this has been under the heat several times because it's been curing the other ones, it hasn't bled whatsoever. So we have really good dye blocking qualities in the sink. So if you're doing a lot of poly printing in your shop or looking to get into it, maybe your customers are requesting poly printing for athletic wear or other polyester apparel, check out these poly inks from SilksPrintingSupplies.com and Ryonet. They're going to make your life easier, give you a better looking print, accomplishing it quicker. So check it out on our website, SilksPrintingSupplies.com, the new poly line available and manufactured by International Coatings, available from Ryonet and Silksprinting Supplies.